Salutations esteemed gamers and welcome back to another episode of Zoo Tycoon Complete Collection. I'm Gentleman's Gaming and today we will be starting the Valley of the Dinosaur scenario which is the first of our Dinosaur Digs intermediate scenarios and I have been very excited to finally get to this one because we finally get to work with some dinosaurs. But without wasting too much time on me getting excited about that, the story behind our scenario is as follows. A recent Arctic expedition has uncovered a startling discovery, and a secluded clearing in the Arctic is a jungle-filled valley. This valley features such strange terrain as volcanoes, steam vents, geysers, and tar pits. The Arctic expedition has come to you first because they believe that if, if there is one place in the world where a variety of dinosaurs could thrive, this is it. You must create at least eight suitable dinosaur exhibits in this wonder of nature. So, for our scenario, we have 18 months to achieve a zoo rating of 75, achieve an average animal happiness rating of 75, exhibit at least eight different dinosaur or prehistoric animal species, and earn an exhibit suitability rating of at least 85 for eight dinosaur exhibits. So, without wasting too much time, let's jump into our scenario. We start with, looks like $150,000. And I'm going to zoom out real quick just so we can kind of skirt around the edge of the park and see what all we have. Let's see, a large and small volcano, some small geysers, a large geyser, a few other things around the edges. There's a steam vent with a lot of trees in there. Yeah, this is a decent sized park. There's a single tar pit. All right, so I think we're going to want to stay away from the outside edges as much as, much as we can because that's almost all snow so we're going to get rid of that tar pit we will put a tar pit back in um, that is going to be one rule I try to observe for this is that anything um, just like decoration wise that I wind up uh, removing will go back in um, by the end of that episode if I can help it so we need to get our dinosaurs in uh, now let me look here okay, right that row right there so we need to go not there right there up this way a little ways all right now then the first dinosaur we're going to do we need to look at our options because it doesn't really matter which ones we bring back just as long as we bring some of them let's see uh, camptosaurus stegos stegosaurus would be cool do we have either of those trees we do have that one we do have that one so we at least have those uh, Gallimimus, I don't think we have a Norfolk Island. We do not. We'd have to fund that one. So let's see. We have Herrerasaurus and Allosaurus. We have very few dinosaurs, actually. That's disappointing. Iguanodon. Platyosaurus. Yeah, that's a, that's a Triassic. We could do that. Let's do... Camptosaurus looks like it's maybe the smallest we've got. Of the, oh, wait a minute. We missed this little guy. The, the Caudipteryx. Missed him. So if, do we have the Wil William Sonia? Do we have that? Indeed we do. So let's start with that little dude. I'm, just, I'm, I'm not going to try to pronounce his name all that often. It's just du little dude. It's... Fun thing on here, this is something um, I've learned just from using this, is Caudipteryx is the only dinosaur digs dinosaur that can be held inside just regular iron bar fencing. That is something I actually did not know before very long ago. So... That should make life a little easier for us. We can do, we can start off with a relatively cheap exhibit. 
eight, nine, ten. By two. Hang on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Codiptrix. All right. Uh, let's see. I need to level this out just a little bit, like that. Okay. Um, f four adults. I don't think I need that many. Okay, we'll hatch two. Let's see how that goes. Oh god, guests show up as soon as I do that, really? Come on, guys, they're just eggs. No one comes to a dinosaur zoo to see just eggs. Unless this is maybe like Jurassic Park, then maybe they do. Let's see. There's always so much fun when I have to do that. Sinuses. I'm sorry you guys have keep keep uh, la, la, la. I can't speak English. I am sorry you guys keep having to hear me snort and everything like that. I try my dang hardest not to, but gosh, my stinking sinuses won't quit draining. And it's weird because you know what the big snowmageddon 2019 it should have stopped by now like it it's been cold a good solid two three days so you know it's sh my nose should stop being stopped up and there's our little little dudes more animals of the same type okay i guess they did actually want more. okay that should fix that mm -hmm. What the heck? What did he just put down? There, finally. Oops. Undo that. More rocks, more fo Let's do trees first. Trees are a little easier to control for. Yeah, 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 excellence. Oh. No more. Okay, now we just need rocks.
98 suitability. Pretty darn close, if I do say so myself. And I don't usually say that myself. Okay. Let's do some benches. Zoom map. These don't exactly match, but they'll work. What is that? Insectivore chow. Don't think I've seen that one before. Okay, well there's our first dinosaur exhibit in. Alright, let's do... Make some mang mangroves, maybe. A few there. There. Really shouldn't be using money up decorating like that. But here we are with me doing it, like always. Okay, so here's our first exhibit. Let's do. Uh, let's let's go back to that Camptosaurus idea. That was another small dinosaur. We'll start with small dinosaurs and then work our way up to bigger ones. Me thinks. Me thinks. Me thinks. All right. Let's see. I want to stay away from this side as much as I can. This this side has a bigger open flat space. So let's go go this way. Let's see. Um Camptosaurus is another 10 by 10, so that one we should be all right with. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I think. Yep. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. Okay, I'm gonna have to move that gate and so that scientist can do this one. Let's say Camposaurus takes Coniferous. Good. Let's see. Campsaurus takes a single adult? Live alone or in small family groups. Okay. We'll, we'll live with those. Get in there. Thank you. Okay. And then just like before... Decorate around the outside real quick. Let me try that. 
try to mirror it as much as I can. Posts. In there. Trash can. See, no light post out there. Is there a trash can on the other side? Yes, there was. Okay. One there. One there. Nothing there. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. Gosh. Let's see. Uh, where's my mangroves? There, mangrove there. Orchids. Oh, there's a fern there, that's why. That's why it wasn't working. Actually, now that I think about that. There, make a nice little entrance thing. our camp to have number two hatch first now on earth I call hacks there was some hacks going on here all right that's what we'll live we'll live I guess all right not enough grass not enough fresh water not enough shelters okay now, do you guys want the burrow? Burrow. Okay. Need fresh water. There. More grass. More rocks, more foliage. Do you guys want the wal wal coniferous? Wow. That's how well I can pronounce the names of these things. And there's an extra 15 grand. I'll take it gladly. Suitability rating of 100. Not even bad. 
Okay, sooner or later guests are going to start complaining about food. And that's going to turn into a problem. Okay, which exhibit is our more popular? 75 13 13 cents thanks guests we got a whole 13 cents man oh man they love our dinosaurs don't they and we're four months in boy oh boy oh boy Are we meeting anything right now? Average animal happiness rating of 75. At least we're getting that. Alright. So let's see. I'm running 22 minutes. Can I get one more dinosaur in here? Can we pull that off? I think we probably could. It's just a question of what. Still only 13 cents. Why is this one so much more popular than this one? Everyone's just gravitating that way. So we need something this way to get people's attention, then, methinks. At least that's what I'm going to go with. Let's do, I think, maybe a Stegosaurus. Oh, getting hungry guests. I knew that was coming. Knew it, knew it, knew it. All right, well, here's what we'll do. Just real quick. quick throw a restaurant in there and then let's throw in a stegosaurus exhibit let's see I want to leave little bit of space here so let's see do my usual landscaping there real quick yeah. that way it's there so I don't accidentally build over it Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. By one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Perfect. The fact that that actually worked surprised me. Surprised me quite a bit. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. But one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. It is indeed the right dimensions. Yes. 
All right. You just do that there. Cardhipteryx is still just blowing them out of the water. That is nuts. At least to me, it's nuts. Like it just—it does not make sense. Okay. Here's our stegos stegosauruses. Let's see. I st still have not learned my lesson. And don't keep a calculator anywhere around me. So. See, so, I know it's 120 times. Okay, so 12 fresh water, 12 grass, 12 dirt. Okay, and that should do it terrain-wise. All right, that's at least three three dinosaur exhibits down. That only leaves what was it five eight total? Eight different dinosaur or prehistoric animal species. So not bad. We are almost. Well, I guess we're not we're not really almost done with it, but we're we're getting there. We are getting there. Was that the farthest? I don't remember how I had this set up. I mean, there's, there's probably no way I'm going to get this exactly duplicated, but I can try. So I can actually do that. Orchid trees. Third orchid tree, actually. Couple bushes. Bingo! Alright, and that'll leave us room for another exhibit there. And I can put like a um, gift stand down here. More animals of the same type. You mean having trouble trying to get there? You're already there! More foliage and more rocks. The lepidarian tree.
the rocks. Okay, they should be all right now. All right, let's see if those two start bringing people down this way. Are these guys adults now? Oh, indeed they are. These guys are still little itty bitty babies. Okay. We're doing pretty well so far. Last thing I'm going to put in before calling it a night is a compost building. Because we need we need poo-poo money and $5,000. We need poo-poo money and $5,000. That's exactly what we need, guys. Okay. Ooh, tar pit. I almost forgot the tar pit. Um, actually, I should... Ooh, now that I think about it. I could do this. Not concrete. That. Was the sick, 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 sadistic part of me there for just a second? Kind of figured that wouldn't work, but yeah, I was right. It didn't. Okay. All right. Let's see, Are the stegosaurs beating them. They're at a one star so far. Campusaurus, still nothing. Caudipteryx, clear up there almost at five stars. That is our money maker right there. We're going to go up a little bit on the money wise. All right, and then we can squeeze another exhibit here and then probably put a gift stand down this way. And be good to go on that route. Oops. Can't see anything. Need to see. Pretty please. gonna have to call it there for the night guys as I try to remember how to spell scenario oh yeah not a bad start we unfortunately we are down to only about just under fifty thousand dollars so we're going to have to wait for just a little bit until we generate some money back up and then I think the next time we'll be going for. Let's see, what were our options again? What? Let's just go all the way through, see what we got. We've got Macrokenia, Giant Ground Sloth, which might work out in our favor because we have all this snow and ice around, so we could leave some of it while we work with them. 
we've got Styracosaurus, we've got Iguanodon, Platyosaurus, Lambiosaurus, Gallimimus, or as I like to say, Gallimimus, uh, Herrerasaurus, Allosaurus, Sabertooth Tiger, Giant Tortoise, Woolly Rhino, and I guess technically Loch Ness Monster, because, you know, that, that's a dinosaur. So, I'm not sure what the... I have to look at some of the prices for each of them in between episodes and see what I can come up with. So yeah, um, we're gonna call it quits for there for now, guys. I'm gonna have to I'm gonna pause that so I don't actually um, let time go too far. We've got 12 months left, I believe it was 18, 18. We've got 12 months left, so exactly one year, and we'll be done with this scenario by then, hopefully, and hopefully we'll have everything done and be able to. Uh, you know, finish it and win. So I want to thank you guys very much for watch. Oh, almost forgot. Almost forgot my thing before I do my closing. Um, if you guys want, send me in the comments um, some questions, any questions you can come up with about dinosaurs and what I'll do for the next episode and hopefully any with din any uh, any episodes where I have to work with dinosaurs. So probably the dinosaur dig um, scenarios. Send me questions about dinosaurs and, like, anything you want to know or just, you know, fun if you have a fun fact or something like that. And um, I will do my best to remember to write all those down and have them when I do the next episode so I can go through and answer your, some of your questions while I'm um, building exhibits or, you know, sitting with the really awkward silence waiting on uh, money to fill back up. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, I think that's that's a fun idea. Hopefully that'll help eliminate some of the um, uh, silences where I can't think of anything to say because I record three or four episodes at a time whenever I'm in the mood for it. So, yeah, send send me questions about dinosaurs, guys. And even, even if they're not about dinosaurs, just throw some animal ones in there or some about sharks or something. I don't know. Whatever questions about animals or zoos that you guys want me to answer. So... Now, like I was saying, I want to thank you guys very much for watching. Um, stay tuned for the next episode. should be up sometime within the next two, three days. This has been Gentleman's Gaming, and I will see you all back here for the next episode of Zoo Tycoon. Take care, guys, and have a fantastic rest of your day.